All right, so today we're going to focus on widgets that can display video and photo galleries. So uh, the first one I will highlight is the story list widget. And so the story list widget can be set to display stories in an individual category. So if you're looking for a way to place video content or podcasts on your homepage, um, as a player, this is probably my recommended way to do it is to set up a category specifically for your videos or for your podcasts and then place that as a story list widget. So to do that, you would go to your widget control panel, which is accessible by going to the snow dashboard. And then it's the third button on that drop down to go to the widget control panel. This is where you can go to adjust the settings on any existing widgets, add widgets, remove them. And if you would like more information about how this works in general, please uh, feel free to send in a request for our previous webinar on the widget control panel. But as I mentioned, the story list widget has the possibility to display video players directly on that home page. So what I would do is I would just add the story list widget wherever I would like it to display. It, the story list widget is incredibly robust in terms of the number of settings and uh, dis display options that it has. So the main thing I would focus on here for our purpose today is that with when you're setting up this widget, you would select the category, let's say video or podcast that you want to display. The number of stories is up to you, but then in the primary area design column, the second column here and the second drop down, you can select a media type. And one of the types you can select is video. And so this works for both video and audio uh, platforms, as long as you have added uh, the embed code into the story. And I'll quickly demonstrate how to do that shortly. But as long as you have this video set, then that's how you get that look like I had on my homepage here, where as long as you have a story that has a video or audio embed in it, if you've got that snow story list widget, and you set it to display video, you'll get that player right on your site. So in addition to doing that specifically for the audio and video stories that you have, as you can see here in my news uh, category, you can mix and match that with traditional written stories as well. And then if that story happens to have a video component with it, that will be the media that displays on the homepage there. So again, to make sure then that that video or audio is going to display when you select that as the media type in your story list widget, when adding a story, and actually I'll just go into this story here, you will make sure to add the embed code for your video or podcast right in the video slash embed field there. This is, then is a nice segue to our other video slash audio display option. So to get that embed code, each third-party platform that hosts your multimedia, whether that's audio or video, is going to be slightly different. So I'm just going to demonstrate on YouTube here today. Uh, if you're using Vimeo or like Spotify or something and are having difficulty finding the embed code, just do a quick Google search of the name of your third party host and embed code and you should, somebody will be able to point out where that is for you. Uh, if you're still having difficulty, as always, feel free to send us a support ticket, but a quick Google search would be a nice starting place. So to get that embed code from YouTube, it's in the share options. That's a good place to always look. If it's not in these more options, it's typically in the share options and then go embed. And then you get that code I was referring to. So again, if you want uh, to use the story list widget, just make sure to add that embed code there. 
for any stories that have a video or audio component. And then that will display on the home page as long as you set your story list widget to display video as the media type. The other way that you can add content, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my tab here so I can demonstrate what it looks like, is again, back in the widget control panel, third button on the snow dashboard drop down there, there is a snow embed code widget. So this is how you can place a video that you know you want to live on your homepage for an extended period of time. Or if you don't want to set up that category, you could manually swap out this embed code whenever you want to update the video or audio that's being displayed there. But to add that, you just drag that embed code to wherever you would like it to go. In this case, I'll just add it on top of my opinion section there. And then paste that embed code that we got from YouTube or whatever other third party site that you are using. And if you want, you can give it a title, you know, so uh, I don't know, journalism hype video, right? A video that's hopefully going to get people to sign up for your class. Save that there. And then if we refresh the page, that video now shows up there. So if I wanted to replace it, I would then go get a different embed code for another piece of media. And then I could come back into the widget control panel, click on that widget, and replace the embed code to replace the video. So that's how you can add videos, uh, just kind of a standalone video. And again, it also works for audio. If you're looking to add a Spotify playlist, you would do that with the snow embed code and then just get the embed code for that playlist from Spotify and then it will embed it right on your homepage. So the other topic on today's webinar was photo galleries and how you can add those as widgets. And there is a snow photo gallery widget. So we'll go ahead and add that here. When you add it by default, what it does is it just pulls in the most recently added photos. So anytime you add a photo anywhere on the site, that will then appear in this slideshow. So uh, it can be useful to set it up like that if you're at the point in the year where the only photos you're going to be adding are, be, are added to stories. But if it's early on in the year, if you upload a staff profile photo or you're editing any pages and maybe upload a new logo or something, that goes into the media library and is considered a recently added photo. So the recommendation I would probably have for the photo gallery, and I'll just quick show you what this looks like here. If I close it out and refresh my page here. Got recently added photos and I've only been adding them to the stories here. So as you can see, it's just, those stock photos that I use in trainings and webinars uh, it cycles through the nine most recent ones. But as I'd mentioned, had I uploaded a staff profile photo or something, that would also cycle into the recently added photos. So instead, the way I would recommend doing a photo gallery is setting that up in a story. So if I go to, I've got several uh, stories where I've set up a photo gallery. Again, uh, won't go into detail on how to do that here today. We do have a previous webinar on how to do this. If you need a refresher on that, just request that recording. But any story that has a photo gallery, I can select that. It will, by default, just pull in the name of the story, but you can change what that widget title is just by typing up here. So something like that. And again, you've got some control here in the design panels for how fast it's gonna scroll through those photos, uh, how, how tall that area is, whether or not you want auto scroll. And then if you wanna do, want people to see thumbnails or not on that photo gallery. So now we've pulled in photos from a different story. And again, I use a lot of the same stock photos, so this doesn't 
look that different, but it is pulling in from a specific story rather than the most recent photos. So then the last thing I'll go over here today is maybe you wanna use your photo gallery widget to do like a photo of the day. What I would recommend there is adding the story, and this is gonna be a brief refresher on how to create a photo gallery as a story. Uh, call this one photo of the day and then featured image, and then I'll select slideshow of attached images. This is how you make a slideshow, one of those slideshow stories that I was just talking about. I'll set the featured image, and then I can go wherever I've got my photos stored. Now, uh, let's see, there uh, we go, pull in a few non-stock, some photos that I've taken here. You can add in as they're uploaded here. Once uh, they're uploaded, just like any other photo that you add, you can add in your caption and byline on those photos. And also arrange the order that they're going to appear in the slideshow by going here under filter media, selecting uploaded to this post, and then I can drag and drop to rearrange the order there. And whichever photo has the check mark is going to be the starting point for that photo gallery. I'll just add one quick caption here so you can see what it looks like. And my byline there, set the featured image. And then what I would do, what I would recommend if you want to do like a photo of the day is you could either make a category for it or what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this uncategorized. That way when I publish it, it doesn't show up anywhere on my homepage. If you happen to have your top display widget, your carousel or your grid set up to display the most recent stories, that is going to pull in this new photo gallery. Otherwise, if you keep it uncategorized, it shouldn't show up anywhere on your homepage. So now what I can do is I can go back to that widget, my photo gallery widget, and I finish up there, close it out and open it back up. Now I've got the photo of the day story that I created. I can set up that photo gallery on the home page to display up to 40 photos. So I save that, refresh my home page, and now it's going to pull in those four photos that I just added. And now if I want to add a new photo of the day, what I would do is I would go back to my dashboard, go to the story, find the photo of the day story, and then click the featured image there, upload a file, add a new photo of the day, and then add my caption and my byline. Set the featured image. And again, you can always double check. It should, whoops, uh, by filter media uploaded to this post. Every time you add a new photo by default, it's gonna select that newest photo to be the new starting photo. And that photo people will first see on your home page. And then we'll update the story. And now back on my home page, that newest photo is the starting place but it still pulls in all the previous photos I've had. So I could do a photo of the day for up to 40 photos and it will just cycle through on the home page there. So that's how the photo gallery widget works. And then the standalone video widget uh, is the snow embed code widget, or you can set up the snow story list to display video as the media type. So those are the ways that you can add video and photo galleries to your homepage. I'll go ahead and turn off the recording here. Thanks for joining me today.